Hello and welcome to this video on Ulgrins slash Ogrins for Astra Militarum. Today we're going to go over paint schemes and a quick and easy way of getting these guys on the table and being happy with them. So we're going to start off with base colors. So for these guys, I unfortunately primed them black, which I wouldn't recommend. So it took me a bit longer in terms of coats of paint to actually get their skin covered. So, first tip, probably want to spray paint your stuff white. Uh, it's just going to make your life a lot easier, um, except for maybe something like a shield, like you see here, that's fully black. Um, that might be something you want to spray paint separate. And also having a whole bunch of the arms from these guys, having those painted separate as well. Same with their beat sticks, the power malls. So having those separate will really save you a lot of heartache. So we're going to start off with the uh, basic coats that I put on these guys for their skin and for their clothes and for their armor. So for the uh, skin, we would use Bugman's Glow. So Bugs, Bugman's Glow is a great paint, especially if you're uh, painting over black. So it worked out really well for me in terms of it only took like a coat to two coats. Um, and it turned out pretty good and I didn't really have to do too much highlighting, which saves a bunch of time. So we'll pan over to the rest of the colors. For their armor, Celestial Grey. For the pants, Zandri Dust. And then just washed everything with Reichland Flesh Shade. And then that's how you get that kind of like weathered, grimy sort of look like there on the guy's uh, armor plates and of course on their pants as well. So that's the base coats. Now for the metallics, the metallics used hash nut copper for all the coppery bits. Retributor armor for um, the Ogren boss dude over here on his uh, knuckle duster and on one of his teeth, which might be kind of hard to see. Let's see if we can zoom on in there. Yeah, one of his teeth is actually gold. So that's the metallic. So along with uh, lead belcher, of course, for all your weapons and that type of stuff. And the tracks, uh, the treads on the dudes as well. Oh, there goes an arm. Glad I got that on camera. So I haven't magnetized these yet, so hence the arm popped off. So those are the metallics. Uh, of course, the metallics, um, I coated the hash nut in Reichland Flesh Shade yet again. Uh, and then for Lead Belcher and for some of the Retributor, Null Oil, your go-to. So the next part is pretty much all the detailed stuff. Um, that's kind of the fun stuff. So for instance, their legs um, and their shields, all that I did was a simple dry brush. Zoom on on that. Of Mechanicus Standard Gray. I'll zoom out there. Um, and I highly suggest getting significant others unused or unwanted makeup brushes for dry brushing because that has completely changed my dry brush game. Made it so much easier. So that's dry brushing for that. Uh, then we have some accent colors and things. So abandoned black on the exposed lining of the boots. If I turn this guy around. And then I also did Mechanicus Standard Gray on those boots as well. So just again, a simple dry brush, nothing too crazy. It saves you a bunch of time. Next one, uh, Rhinox Hide that was used on anything leather, so any leather straps. Uh, Evil Suns Red was used on little targeting array bits on the guns and then of course on the boss man his gun as well just to make him pop a little 
So those are kind of the accents. Uh, of course, for things like the eyes, I had to use a bit of white scar. And then for their actual uh, pupils, wag flesh. I went for um, green on these guys, which I think turned out pretty well. Now the fun stuff. Uh, the power malls. Simply dry brushed some white onto the black malls itself. Zoom in. So simply dry brush that and then coated it in a contrast paint. Talisar blue and it pops really well. I like how it turned out. Uh, for their headpieces, I used Yandin yellow right over the um, celestial gray that that was covered in. And then for their gas masks, like right above the rebreather, I just put on basilicum gray. So that would be a section right below the eyes. And now for the eyes, used athermatic blue on top of the Yandin yellow, which made this green. And then just simply put on a bit of white scar and there you go, there are your lenses. Uh, and then for the last little bit on the bad boy here, we're gonna go ahead and zoom on in real close. On his cigarette, that's again Rhinox Hide, a little bit of Ab Abaddon Black, and then I mashed in a bit of the Evil Suns uh, Blood Angels contrast paint as well, and a bit of Yandin for contrast paint, and that created that neat little effect. And there you go. So that's the Bull Grin all said and done. There's Four more over there in the back for a total of nine with all the arm attachments which I need to magnetize later on. So that's going to be a fun time doing that later. So again, it's always best to start off with some simplistic colors, wash them, see if you like it or not, and then from there move on. Um, some other little tips too, some of these arms have some indents for tattoos, just simply put null oil in there, boom ready to go. Or if you want to color it, throw in a contrast paint. Alright, so I guess we'll leave it there. Hopefully this has inspired you to do some hobbing of your own.